Alright guys, in the next few videos, let us have a look at how to work with Node.js and MongoDB. Now before we start off, I'm going to be making the following few assumptions. The first one is you have Node.js and NPM installed. The second one is you have MongoDB installed. The third one is you have a basic work knowledge of Node.js. And finally, you are very familiar with the CRUD operations and MongoDB. Now, if you have a check against all these assumptions, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is to install the Node.js MongoDB driver in the folder we are working with. So, I have created a folder called Mongo. So, let's go ahead and install <coughs> excuse me, the MongoDB driver. So, npm install MongoDB. And this might take a few seconds. Let's give it some time. All right, there are a few errors with because of the versions. So we have installed a Node.js. Sorry, we have installed the MongoDB driver. And the next thing is, let's go ahead and create our .js file. So let's go ahead and save as. Let's go back to our desktop, Mongo. Let's create our file name as mongodb.js. Alright. Now the first thing we want to do in a .js file is to require the mongodb module. So very well mongodb is equal to require mong not omg mongodb. Now, the second thing is we need to create a Mongo client that, inter that that interacts with the MongoDB server. So Mongo Mongo client is equal to MongoDB dot Mongo client. Now the next thing is we need to specify the URL where our database is going to reside. So variable URL is equal to MongoDB and it is a local host which is our system on port 27017 and let us say we want to name our database as fruits now once we have created the URL let's go ahead and use the connect method of Mongo client to set up the connection so Mongo Oh man, mongo client dot connect. Now this accepts two parameters. The first one is a URL, this is where we wanted to we wanted to connect to. The second one is a callback function. So function error tb. So the callback function takes two parameters. The first one is error, and the second one is the result of connecting. Right. So let's go ahead and continue. So once we establish the connect method, we say if there is an error, then let's have a look at it. So console dot log error. If there is no error, let's say console.log connected to our URL. And once we are done, let's just close the connection to our database, so db.close, and finally a semicolon. Now let's save the file, go back to your node. One thing to note is that I've already connected to the MongoDB instance. Let's go ahead and run mongodb.js. So node mongodb.js. So it says connected to MongoDB localhost fruits. All right, so that's how we connect to our database using Node.js. And in the next video, let us see how to insert a document into MongoDB.